Hi guys, welcome back to the Sweaty Potato Meyer RC channel, home of the fastest Red Cat Rampage XT on YouTube. And today, guys, today um, I listened to the poll that I put up uh, yesterday on my community community page, and um, through all the you know the, through all the different uh, choices you had, uh, tuning tips ended up winning. So we're gonna today we're gonna go over some tuning tips and um, you know stuff like that. And I got a I got a couple couple clips of my own I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see you know it you know here over the from a video to another video I, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say but you know through the video if you're gonna be able to tell what I can hear but I'm gonna to try to come up with a couple clips you know a, a rich video segment and a lean video segment and try to show you the, the difference between you know what you're listening to when you're tuning and um I'm gonna go over base settings and and I, there's a lot of different carburetors out there with a lot of different base settings. But I'm gonna show you a base setting that I use on my carburetors and usually, I mean, it, it'll get you it'll get you by unless you have. I mean, a lot of carburetors have way different settings and it won't work on. So um, I'm just gonna show you the base settings for the carburetors that I use. So, um, anyways, we'll we'll touch on that. Um, we're gonna to touch on the tuning needles and how they work and how they're connected to a point with each other. Um, they're not really this, I mean, they're two separate needles, but to a certain, to a certain degree, they, they kind of, they kind of work together if you, if you catch my drift there. And, uh, then I wanted to go over, uh, how I tune, you know, what I mean by hour and half hour increments. I got a, uh, carburetor over here. This happens to be a WT9997. So I got a carburetor over here. I'm going to show you on here, you know, what I do and how I tune and how the needles work and all that stuff. And, and then, uh, probably what at the end, you know, why we're, uh, looking at how I tune, um, I'm going to show you some really bad practices in tunings and, and tuning methods and stuff. So, uh, why don't I get you guys undocked and we'll go ahead and get at this. All right, guys, I got you undocked here and, um, I got the carburetor in my hand. And like I said, I don't know if you guys can see that or if I got it upside down or whatnot, but that is a, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see that number, but that's what carburetor it is. And we'll start off with um, base settings and my base settings and these, I think I'm pretty sure these work on, on, you know, down all the way down to the six sixties, all the way up to the 1107s. And that's pretty much what I use. And my, my 40 GT has a full mod 990 rooster tail on it. So, um, but anyways, um, how, you know, my base setting on, you know, all my stock, you know, Bajas and stuff. Um, so I go on the low and mine are marked. Some of them are marked, some of them are not, but, uh, the low side is closest to the engine. The high side is closest to the air filter. So we got the low needle. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way in until it bottoms out. Don't tighten it. And then we're gonna go out one and a quarter turns. Okay. And then when I do this, I don't just leave the needle there. I kind of, kind of rotate it a little bit to kind of get it. it I think in my brain, I think it helps seat it a little bit. And then with the high side needle, we're going to go all the way in. Okay. And then out one and a half. So one and a half. And that should take care of, you know, your, your base settings on most carburetors. I mean, if things are changing in the hobby constantly. So there's all, there's all kinds of new carburetors out there that are, people are using, um, when, compared to when I first got into the hobby. And then we'll talk about our idle screw. Um, that is just, you know, exactly what it is. You know, you can you can crank your idle up or down by this. And what I, I like to have is just a smooth pop to it. So um, that's that's how um, I, I uh, set my bass tune. And then um, let's go over um, the tuning needles and how they work. So how they work is, um, so, when you screw it in, the, the needle goes into a seat and it, it's exactly what it, like if you picture a needle, uh, it's got a, a beveled edge on it and it sits down in a, in a beveled seat and that allows fuel to flow around it. And the more you, okay, so when you 
put the bevel and you put the needle more towards the seat, which is clockwise, that leans it out. And then when you take the bevel more away from the seat, which is counterclockwise, that richens it up. And then um, I wanted to touch on um, the needles and how they're um, connected to a certain point. And what I mean by that is a lot of times I found that when I'm tuning and I'm really trying to get my fine tune, um, let, let me see. So maybe we're a little, little, little fat on the high end. So what I'll do is, you know, say the engine's running and, you know, I notice it's a little fat on the high end. So what I'll do is I'll lean it out just a, just a tick, not much. I don't know if you guys could see. Okay. So just a tick and why I'm, why I'm here, I may as well just, uh, discuss, you know, the, the certain or the, the increments that I go by. Okay. So, um, I go by hour. If you imagine that the clock, you know, the hour hand on the clock, every hour, it just moves just a tiny bit. Like, so I don't know if I'm getting the, if I'm getting good, good, uh, views on it, but, or I don't know if you guys can see it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I turn in hour increments, which is about like that. I don't know if you guys can see how much that needle is moving, but it's not moving much. Okay. And then half hour increments is just ever so slightly in between just like that. So, um, so that's how, how I tune, I just very small inc increments. And like I was, like I was saying, say we need to, um, say the high end's a little, little rich. So we need to lean it out a little bit. So I'll, I'll just come in here and I'll lean out the high end and then I'll give it a rip. And a lot of times what, what'll happen is when you're coming up on the throttle, after you lean out the high a little bit, then it'll, when you're going on the throttle, it'll have a hesitation. It'll have a womp, 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 womp. It'll have that noise to it or that, that tone to it. And then what you do is you come over here and you richen your low speed. You list richen it ever so slightly. And I, I did this backwards with my brain injury. I, I moved this needle the wrong way. So, uh, technically if, if we were fat or yeah, fat on the high end, we would actually move it an hour increment in. Okay. So I had that backwards. And then usually what I'll have to do, like I said, is come back to the low side and move it a little, little, little out because it needs a little bit more fuel on the low end to compensate for what we took, uh, took away on the high end. So that transition is there. So when it, when you transition from low to high to high needle, or actually you're, when you're transitioning for the high needle kicking in, sometimes you need to add a little bit to the low side is what I'm trying to say. So, um, I wanted to touch on that. Um, let me see. And some poor examples of tuning is like, say you're coming up here and let me see if I can get this right this time. Okay. So the high is, the high is a little, little rich. And so, so a poor example of tuning is coming up to it and just going like this. That is a poor example. You never move your needles that much. You should never do that. You should never do that in any circumstance. You should always go by just little, little bumps. I mean, if you got experience and you, you can tell by your ear and stuff, but even then, I mean, I, th I think it's really sketchy to, to be going in and just, you know, well, we're a little rich on the high end. Let's take some fuel away up. Oh. There, that's good. No, I don't do it like that. I uh, do it, like I said, in just ever so slight increments. See, I, you can barely see how much I turn the head, but I turned it ever so slightly. So, and then like I was saying, when I do turn, turn the, turn the needles. Okay. So say we're going to a, a, adjust it. So I'll, I'll kind of wiggle it back and forth before I actually let it rest. I, uh, in my theory, I, I feel it, it, uh, helps the needle seat a little better and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about there and with, with that stuff and uh, all that. So why don't we uh, undock and see if I can pull up some examples of rich and lean. All right, guys. Now, as far as, you know, listening for your ear, I'm going to try to pull up um, some examples. And the first one I'm going to pull up is, uh, the 40 GT's first rip because I I know I remember when when I ripped it it was so uh, outrageously fat on the high needle is is ridiculous so 
and we'll, we'll pull up that and you'll notice you know especially when i take off it you, it sounds like it's underwater it's like blubbering is what i call it but you'll notice as soon as you know when it takes off that um it has kind of a blubber to it and then i'll uh flip up to a uh a video segment where the same engine is uh in a lean condition and uh the difference between the two machines and the two clips is uh the 54 millimeter clutch versus 62 because i did end up grading it up i did end up upgrading it between the between the two videos because this was seven months ago so so why don't we click on that and i gotta find it so on the pipe that it, it has that blubber you read engines are a little bit different to hear i mean they sound a little bit different but it's the same concept so uh so yeah we can watch a little bit more of that i i, I holler in this thing like crazy but let me let me see if there's some other uh it's like it flutters and stuff and what i'm going to show you next is uh completely opposite so uh we're going to go back back and we'll go up it's actually a pretty recent video because of the weather change the weather change snuck up on me and if i would have continued running this like i had well, like it was like it was adjusted i would have it would have been good with that engine it would have probably seized up but uh this is an example of where it's, you know, exactly opposite, extreme lean. And it actually will break up. It cuts out and stuff. So watch this. I'll probably have to fast forward a little bit. Nope, we just got to rewind a little bit. Okay, so I went a little bit too far. Okay, so the first pull, you can't really tell it much. And then the second coming back, you can really tell. Because I'm, I'm full throttle the whole time. And it, it, it's cutting out on its own, so watch. super lean condition right there like i said if i would have if i wouldn't have richened it up that it, that the engine wouldn't have lasted it would not have lasted but those are these are the things you're looking for see one one sounds like it's underwater and one is completely opposite and it just cuts out completely and it bogs i mean that's i mean that's <clears throat> <laughs> that's the examples I wanted to show everybody and uh, all that stuff and and uh, whatnot. So let me see if I got everything here. Yeah, I think that's everything for today's video. I just wanted to kind of kind of give a you know a basic a basic video out there for all the new people getting into the hobby and the 
in the, you know, just want to, you know, just generally help the hobby out, you know, and put some information out there to help people out. So, I mean, you're going to find everything out there and that's just the way I do it. I mean, to each their own, whatever, if, if you have your own way of doing it. But uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, by the, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, and you like what you see, you should probably do that because this is what I do. Uh, and by the subscribe button, there's a bell notification. Select that, select all, and get every upload I do. And, and uh, if there's something on your mind, leave a comment in the comment section, guys. We'll see you in the next one.